What is going on guys, Chris Redding here. Man, I just walked out of the house and it is a beautiful day in Florida. All right, so you guys know we got the M2 right here. Um, today, we're actually going to pick up another car. It's not what you guys think. Like I said, it's, it's the year of making moves and I decided to become part of something. We're picking up a GTR today. I'm excited. Let's get in here. Ah, this car's never gonna get old. First time driving the Brodos in about three days. Ever since I got that M2, I haven't even been looking at that, this thing, which is a good thing because I wanna keep my miles lower on the truck and only use it now for a tow rig because now that I got the M2, there's, there's absolutely no reason to drive the truck as a daily. I can save my tires. I can just save everything for if we ever need to do a cross country trip or if I ever need to go far. I mean, I already don't have anything to worry about because this is under warranty and everything, but at the same time, keeping the miles off of it keeps it at a higher rate so and i like driving the m2 we got to use shaw's trailer because my trailer is still occupied by a total piece of garbage oh okay i didn't expect that so as you guys can hear this thing's a little messed up we're gonna explain it a little later we're just gonna get this thing on the trailer no. oh you stalled it no you stalled that was a stall and a half. Started so good the first time. Oh, I'm ready. All right, boys, we're sending it. Battery's completely dead. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Here we go. All right, we're, we're braked. Yeah, we ain't getting it up that. If we get pieces of wood and stop it, and when he lets go of the brake, oh we boy. should be able to push. <laughs> get it up the trailer. All right, take two. <laughs> We're gonna go faster. I'm ready. Push. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, <laughs> come on. All right. <laughs> We're back to square one. So we decided to move the truck on a little downhill right here so the ramp's a little more level. We got much more room to push. Well, so they can push, I'm just gonna drive. We're just gonna wing it, right? We don't gotta line it up, I got this. No, I say just floor it. We're good, I'll make it. How much horsepower is this? Negative. Go, go, go. Okay, so Yeah, I know. All right, am I far enough up? Yes. Dang, that worked good. We got a GTR. So in Wellington, everyone makes so much freaking money, but they still have dirt roads. Wait till we get to a bad part. Wait, you might, my coffee was jumping up and down. It's absurd. Watch this. There it is. Yeah, there it is. Look at this. Yeah, let's watch my truck fall apart. Millionaires live on this road. Let me tell you. Yeah, let me tell you. Millionaires, my doors are gonna fall off. Oh my god. Feels like I was just sitting on a dildo. What the hell? Yep. Millionaires actually live on this road. Can you believe that? All right, guys. So we got the truck, the trailer, the GTR back to the shop. Now I just want to explain what's going on. 2021 this is the year of the comeback i'm trying to open new avenues of things and i'm from this day on i'm officially working with hp import and i myself am actually going to be bringing cars from japan three years ago two years ago we were, we were going to try this but honestly i my head wasn't in the right place i wasn't I didn't really have a direction where I was going and I kind of just never followed through with it. But as you guys know, I'm like a big fan of flipping cars. If you guys watched yesterday's video, you know that we bought, I mean, I bought this thing not even being here and paying a mechanic, paying everyone to like work on this thing and paying Marcus for picking it up in like Miami, wherever it was. And I still ended up making money. So. I'm definitely good in the flip game. I know how to do that and stuff. And working with HP Import, it just means that we're making it legit. And instead of selling junk on the marketplace, we're actually bringing importing cars from Japan. And the thing about me is I don't want to bring in cars that I don't like, that I don't care about. So my whole vision is Unos Roadsters, baby. Absolutely love them. We, we got Baby Rocket in there, and that thing has been so great. We got the Blueberry. I love Unos Roadsters, so... 
what I'm gonna add to the company is importing those and maybe some we can work on whatever we're gonna do but before we do any of that there's some cars that we have as a company that we need to either fix or get rid of so this GTR we've had for a while um the turbos are bad in it so we're gonna replace the turbos it looks like it doesn't have a lip I'd like to put a lip on it and just make this thing nice probably take these ad vans off because it's it doesn't look good, but at the end of the day, this car has some goodies. It's got a Hall Tech. It's got a thousand CC injectors. It's got a HKS fuel rail. It's got all of the goodies to make like 350, 400 if you want to push the turbos. We'll probably just put it on the dyno, make like 330, 340 so we're not pushing it too hard. And then we can actually put it on the market, but we're not going to put a car on the market that's not ready for it. So we're going to put make this thing 100%. That's why... I have hired Jordan to be the mechanic. We got him over here waving. He's, he's got his uniform on. You got a fishnick shirt and a junk hat. Yes, sir. Have you ever worked on a GTR, sir? Absolutely. I've done on turbo swaps a hundred times and I've never worked on a GTR. <laughs> but you're, you're eager. I'm very eager. Yeah, no. I, mean, I look at cars, working on cars, like bolts are bolts, nuts are nuts, studs are studs. And at the end of the day, that's really what it is. It's just a big puzzle. You got to take it apart and put it back together. And I mean, Jordan's good at puzzles. He he worked on my, my drift car. He actually fixed a lot of issues that I made for the car. So Jordan's definitely good. And I'm happy that we have Jordan on the team. So we're going to get this thing in. We're going to put it on the lift. We're going to really see what it needs. Yeah, it doesn't have like a passenger window or a driver window. It's right hand drive. We got to fix like the track or something. And we're going to make this thing great. Like I said, 2021, a lot of things are changing. I want to do things right and I want to do things legit and I want to bring you guys along with it. So hopefully you guys are excited about this. I'm stoked. I technically have two GTRs right now. Yeah. For now. Let's see if we can make some money off this thing. We're just trying to get this beast to run right now so we can at least pull it into the shop because I'm useless with pushing. I don't understand. We got it started like two seconds at the farm and after that it just wouldn't start again so we're gonna try to figure this out real quick and get this thing in the shop <laughs> it's fucking junk fuck it's rough right now Woo! Ooh, she's got a mean exhaust leak too So, I'm filming this part right now because I want to show Jordan's mechanical skill. I'm really excited to start this journey with HP Import. Um, as you guys know, I told you I love flipping cars and this is just making it that much more legit. So, not honestly, nothing's really changing except that I'm going to be ordering cars from Japan. Like me personally, once I like start to get the ropes and everything, I actually maybe want to start doing it on like live streams and stuff. I think it'd be fun to take you guys on that as well. And I don't know, it's just another journey and something that we can also bring to the channel as well. And just another revenue stream. So it's honestly a win, win, win. And then Jordan gets a cool job. He, he loves working on different things. I literally asked him, I was like, are you excited to work on the GTR? And he was like, yes, because I like trying different things. I like working on different things. I don't want to work on the same thing all the time, which is good for him because we already have another car in line that we are going to flip as well. So. Like I said, I hope you guys are excited. I'm stoked and I'm happy that we have this thing and we can show you what we're going to be able to do in just a couple days, hopefully. You know, things still always go wrong. This thing is way too loud right now. All right, so we just got this in the shop. Before we do anything, we're just going to take the coil pack cover off and do a compression test so we're not wasting our time. We want to make sure everything's good at least with the engine before we, because the turbos, honestly, they're a big job. I recommend pulling the engine. I mean, Marcus likes to do it in the car. I don't like that because it's, you got like this much room to work with. You gotta do like the rear turbo first to finagle the front turbo manifold. What are you gonna do? Uh, obviously, we're gonna try it the easiest way possible. And if it doesn't work, we're just gonna go step further, step further, step further. One way or another, they're coming out. <laughs> yeah, no, for sure. And 
I mean, the cool thing is if we do drop the engine, there's a couple coolant lines on GTRs that you literally, it's impossible to get to. Wait, let me, yep, there we go. It's impossible to get to if the car, if the engine's in the car. And if we do end up taking the engine out, I do want to get some Samco hoses just to make sure those coolant lines don't pop like later on in life because whoever ends up buying this car, I will save them hours and hours and hours and hours of trouble just because with just two lines like they're like this big not a big deal it's just if you don't if you don't fix them while the engine's out you're just not a smart person jordan's already innovating here we don't this car doesn't have a hood prop which we're gonna have to address as well but look at the, the strut bar kind of works perfect dude it's really not that bad it's really convenient. all right taking the cover off all right, so while Jordan's taking the coil packs off and stuff, I'm just like looking around the shop and I'm trying to figure out how I can optimize my space and a light bulb just flew up on the top of my head because I plan on having a flip car or an import um, in the shop at all times, either getting work done, getting stuff done to it, blah, 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 long-term projects, whatever. So I need two lifts because I need a content lift for my own cars that we're, we're doing stuff on my cars and I need a flip lift as well. So like, or a long-term project like this. Um, he's either gonna take the turbos out from the top or we're gonna have to fully drop the subframe, which that's what I do. But if he can figure it out, he's a great guy for that. I'm thinking about, oh, this is a lot of work and I can't really do any of the work, but if we can get enough people, we can take all of this off, right? We can move it. Um, and just get it out of the way. We can take this apart and we can actually put it in here because I don't need an office anymore. I, I think it's kind of a waste of space. It's more of like a hangout spot to just be lazy and not do anything. So I don't need that excuse to be lazy. I don't want to be lazy. It's the year of the grind. We need to start doing stuff. So I'm thinking about actually putting the shelf there, making this a full parts room. So we'd get rid of the couch. Um, I have a bunch of racks like this at the house and stuff, and we can bring it here because I'm no longer gonna be doing merch in house, inside my physical house. So that can all be the parts room. Um, one side could be a clean parts room. One side can be this freaking behemoth. I'm getting a phone call. <sighs> Just stock talk. You're if you guys have been following the stock market thing, things have been absolutely crazy. You're either a super lucky guy, a super unfortunate guy, or kind of one of those guys that are kind of stuck in the middle, which is me. Anyways, um, yeah, like I said, I want to move this shelf into there, put a lift kind of diagonal. So yes, it's, it's, this shop isn't the most nice to have a two lift setup, but if this one's there, you can kind of drive the car in and then it would be sideways and we would have the green toolbox and just stuff to work on it there. And then it would optimize space because we're going up, we're getting rid of that. So we'll have more room in the shop and then I can store a car under it. So I think that's definitely the game plan and we're just gonna be able to clear up space. We're gonna be able to do more work and just work more efficiently. That's really the goal for this year is to make more money, to make banger content, and to just do things as efficient as possible and do things right. And I know you guys are on board with that. Seems like Jordan just got the coil packs out and stuff, so we're gonna grab the compression tester. We're gonna test the engine, make sure everything's good there before we do a ship, ship bag job. So we got the fuel pump fuse out. We got all the spark plugs out. So we should get a pretty accurate reading without flooding the engine. Go ahead. All right, we got 150. Uh, all right, stop. We made it to about 140, so 10 off. Not terrible. As long as they're all kind of consistent, we'd be pretty good. Next. Oh God, man, we're getting lower every time. We're about like 125. From 150 to 125 though. Oh. Cylinder number four. This thing's fucking junk, dude. Let's, let's put the battery charger on it. That was 90. Are you gonna think the Miata battery has enough juice in it? Dude, I, I'd rather put the charger to it. Just make sure that 90's not good. 90's definitely not a good start. All right, so at cylinder four, we got 90. We're just putting 250 amps to this sucker. 40. 40, oh, we're doing 40 amps? Whatever. 
just to make sure that hopefully it's not the battery or hopefully it is the battery I mean go ahead no sir no you're good 90 dude we're probably gonna keep going lower we went from 150 to 140 ish to what 125 to 90. 90. this ain't good this is already off to a terrible flipping video okay so cylinder number five jordan's guessing 130. i think it's i think it's gonna be around 90. i think it's gonna keep going lower go ahead good you were, were we were probably gonna hit 120. But, but this engine's all over the place. At least we know the rear turbo might have let a few fins loose. Yeah, seriously. So, last cylinder. You think the last cylinder is going to be the worst? Yeah. We're about to find out right now. Okay, so, cylinder number six. Let's hit it. <laughs> all right. 120-ish. Really? Yeah. So, we just, my, our lowest one is 90, which obviously is not good. So I'm, I'm not really a part of this deal. This is like this this car has been sitting for like over a year And this was actually a trade-in someone traded this in to get a different car from HP and It had bad turbos and it kind of just sat after that because obviously Mark's a busy guy over at HP And this is the first time that someone's actually looked at it. So I'm gonna give Jack I'm gonna give Shaw a call because um Obviously, we got to figure out what we want to do with this thing, what our options are, and just go from there. Because the good thing about GTRs is even though the engine's bad, that can be fixed because no matter what, an RB26, a good running RB26, they're going up right now. I think they're like five to six grand with the transmission and stuff. I mean, over a year and a half ago, I bought my 33 swap for close to five grand. So, I mean, they're only going up in value. Obviously, shells are big money, so no matter what, this isn't gonna be a loss. This just sucks. All right, guys, so me and Jordan, we did a little brainstorming, and the game plan we came up with is one cylinder has decently low compression. Like, it's, I mean, from 150 to 90, that's, that's, that's a lot. That's yeah, that's, that's it, so it's pretty bad. But at the same time, the car has been sitting for over a year, and we're not just, just because we got a little low compression, we're not just gonna go ahead and tear this thing, start building it. We're gonna try to put turbos on it, make this car a running and driving car, drive it around, maybe like re-breaking the engine if that makes sense, and kind of just give a little experiment. Like we have the car here. The car has been sitting for over a year anyways. It's not like anyone's missing this car. So we're, we're just gonna have a little fun with it. We're gonna throw some turbos in it. We're gonna see what happens. We're gonna see if it drives nice and we, we can redo a compression test later. I mean, if the engine's really bad, then it's really bad, but I don't know. I think that's a good game plan. What do you think? It's, yeah. it's better than not having a, a piece of crap GTR. Oh, 100%. I, putting, a tur putting new turbo on here, whichever one's bad. Mm -hmm. Well, we have two. We'll just replace both, yeah. Uh, we'll see what happens. It idles smooth. Yeah. It runs smooth. It's it sounds fine. Um, it's just one of the turbos is. Yeah. It, it's just not going to be an engine that you're going to want to take down the track, rage, and it, it's just going to be a driving GTR. Hit some booze, have some fun. I don't know. We're we're just gonna we're gonna wing this one. The car has been sitting anyway, so it's not hurting anybody. So we're just gonna have fun and see what happens. So I guess the next step of this process is we're gonna start the car. We're gonna open the oil cap We're gonna see if there's a ton of blow by if there's a little if there's none I mean, there's always gonna be some if there's a lot There's not even a point of doing the turbos or anything like that. Make sure it's out of gear So you don't take my legs out Oh, yeah, yeah, we gotta put the fuse pump fuse back in good call and uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're gonna test it out All right, let's start this behemoth start it guys so i did want to make this a point this car is not for sale right now and we have no intention of selling it with bad compression um jordan just kind of came here today with 
the idea of taking turbos out and he was pretty excited to do it. So uh, we're taking the turbos out, we're gonna put new ones in and anything is better than just not a running car. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the turbos in, um, just drive it around a little bit. Maybe the compression is just a, you know, just a funk. I don't, I don't know, that's a long shot, but. The good news is we're gonna just get this back together to running and driving and then whatever Jack and Shaw wanna do with this. This was a car before I came here, so whatever they wanna do with it, we're gonna go with it and um, go from there. But we're doing our part and getting this thing run up and running. So Jordan's making some headway pretty quick. You, you liking this job, dude? I'm loving the GTR. So like, <laughs> you like doing turbos in the car? You've made it farther than me, so congratulations. Really? I kind of just looked at it for like 10, 15 minutes. I was like, I'm just gonna drop it. <laughs> You're doing pretty good though. Like you've only been working for like an hour and a half and like I'm stoked in the progression for sure, but these actually might be dash fives. I'm gonna have to look up the part number, but if these are blown dash fives, I'm gonna talk to Shaw and see if, I mean, we can just get these suckers rebuilt and like these um, turbos, I think these are the same turbos that I have on my car. I got the Gen 2s and I make 500 on my car all day. So if we can get these rebuilt, I'm sure it's not that much money, probably 500 bucks. These will be excellent turbos to throw in a GTR for a later build or even this one once this engine gets situated or whatever. Our, our goal right now is just to get this thing running so it's not a freaking paperweight. Okay, so I didn't expect to make this video so soon. Um, this GTR came in on Saturday. I was like, Jordan, finish this by Tuesday, I'll be happy. It's Sunday night, this dude's already freaking done. Turbos are in, um, I mean, how was it? I don't know what the fuss was about. You really? I mean, I got small hands, so that, <laughs> that does help, really help for sure. I still don't know what the fuss was about. I've done way worse shit. Really? What's worse than that? A uh, timing belt on a 99 Camry. Is it? I don't know, I have no idea. I know you have no idea, it's bad. It, Cause you have like this much room, right? Cause it's front wheel drive. Freaking Accord. There's two timing belts on that Accord. There's two? How two is there two? balance shafts, so you have to align. <laughs> with, the second balance, with the second timing belt. Well, that was we're not going to be making him do any Camrys or Accords or anything like that. Oh, well, maybe. You want to do a Camry? Do an LS Camry? <laughs> Anyways, um, he's filling up the coolant right now. We're going to try to get this thing running. I mean, if it, if it starts up and it sounds okay, we're just going to go for a little drive. Just give it a wee bit of boost. Just feel the boost out, you know? And um, see where we're at. You're going for it right now? Wipe this camera. Oh boy, it's out of gear, right? I think I was shifting in there. <laughs> it would have sucked. Dude, it took us 10 minutes to start it yesterday. 10 minutes! This thing sounds great! Well, we're gonna bleed the coolant. We're gonna raise it up, make sure there's like no oil leaks or anything like that. Make sure Jordan did a good job and but we didn't even have these to begin with, so we're not really doing anything with the car. We're just gonna go a little test drive, a little rap rap, you know what I mean? So it sounds great. It sounds way better than it did yesterday, so I'm stoked. All right, guys, so we're in the GTR right now. It's a little late, so sorry, it's a little dark, but um, there's definitely some more work that needs to be done to this thing. Like I said, I mean, it has a little compression anyways, so we, we the, our main goal for this was just to kind of get it back up and running because it's been sitting for a year. And I mean, but it sounds so much better and like the pedal actually works before it just wasn't really working. I think he did pretty good. We're gonna go for a test drive real quick. Look at me, I'm driving standard, boys. Yeah, this guy, I, is, this guy is crazy. I definitely can't like drive on the road because I'm not, my reaction time won't be like fast enough to like if I had to slam on the clutch but I can drive it around here. Dude, I mean, it's driving good from the two seconds I've been driving it. Yep. Just wanna look at the AFRs. I'm not gonna try to like get into crazy boost. I just wanna hit a little. Mm -hmm. It's got like a burble tune on or something. Yeah, it's... What's with every one of these burble tunes? I'm so over the burble. Um, This thing definitely probably needs an alternator. Listen to this. You can't even hear it, but I can. I can. Mm, that's not very happy. Is that the horn? Yeah. It had the horns hooked up through the Momo? I get, dude, that is a flex. That is. Um, the battery light's on and stuff, so. 
It's all right. I, I slapped in a Miata battery. So that was just on the cement floor for a year. And it works. I didn't even have to charge it. Oh, that was a cutout. I didn't even get the... Yeah, it's just cutting out. Honestly, it's probably... We should probably get this back in the shop. Yeah. The battery's probably just gonna fucking die. Especially with I the headlights just on. just doesn't have enough volts. Oh. Haven't driven a GTR in a while. <laughs> I mean, good news is it's running. It, it's running a lot better than it did. But, um, it needs an all <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, yeah, we're dying, dude. We're definitely dying right now. I just hope we can make it there. Cool. But cool, we made a non-running GTR into a, well, you did, I didn't really do much. But you made a not-running GTR into a running GTR, that's a start, right? Yeah. I mean, for never working on a GTR, fuck, it's pretty good. I can't see shit. I ain't gonna help. Hey guys, that's look at the new GTR work. that we just crashed. Wouldn't that be awesome? Oh boy. Yeah, this is, uh, it's turned out all right. Dude, it, it kind of handles fine. Oh yeah, it's PC coil on this, I forgot. It is monster trucking on them though. It is. It sucks because this thing has like some goodies too and it's just, this thing has been neglected. Whoever owned this car, I mean, to say at the very least was worse than me. Oh my That's gosh. saying something, you know, what is happening here? You had a lot of trust in those brakes, not gonna lie. Really? I was going fast? I mean, you were just pointed directly at the CRX. I'm a good driver, dude. I'll Tetris through that shit. Yeah, you are driving stick. I'm, I'm kind of upset, actually. That one hurt my ankle. I can't even lie. Yeah. Yeah, we're just going to park this here for tonight because I want my GTR back inside. Mm-hmm. Oh, this doesn't have a window. I'll make it happen. So guys, we're just gonna end the night off right here. Jordan did a good job. I'm gonna bring this over to HP tomorrow. And um, I mean, we need an alternator. I, I don't really know the direction we're going with this car because it's got low compression, but I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. I, I really don't know. We just got it running, so that's cool. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Well, it is the following day and I just wanna sum up this car. I guess you could say this car wasn't a great first example. I just wanna clear some things up. This car came in as a trade-in a year and a half ago. Somebody, a customer was interested in the R33 GTST and they ended up trading this in. And after that, it needed work and HP was busy. So we put it in the warehouse. So we wanted to bring this car back to life, kind of see what it really needed. We found out that it needed low compression and stuff. This car, we are not actually going to sell. As far as a business perspective, we don't want to be selling types of cars like this with either low compression, with no window, it, it just, just this, this car is, it, it's not great and we want to import much better cars. So good news is I actually talked to Shaw, I explained like, hey, it's got low compression, we put the turbos in, the, the alternator died, this happened, that happened, window, blah, blah, blah. He said that he's actually been wanting a GTR for quite some time, so Shaw is actually going to be end up taking this car, and later down the road, he's going to be building this, probably putting a single turbo on it, something along the lines of that. So I guess cool news is Jordan got to learn how to do some turbos on a GTR. We found out that this car is not sellable, and at the end of the day, Shaw is getting a GTR that he doesn't even really care what it looks like because he just wants to make a power monster. So it's cool because the engine has bad compression. He wants to build it anyways for big power. So I guess at the end of the day, it kind of all works out. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I really just wanted to sum up that we are definitely not selling this car in its current state. And as a business, we want to come out with better cars. We want to import better cars than this one right here. This was a bad example. It was a trade-in and that's so, sort of it. So if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you guys want to subscribe for more, subscribe for more. I'm going to be starting to import cars with HP import very soon. I'm going to actually start looking at the auctions tonight and kind of see what's available, kind of see like the price ranges and stuff. And I'm excited to share things with you and kind of help grow HP import as a business and be a part of the importing side and kind of sharing it on YouTube. I think that's a really fun journey. I think that can just add variety to the channel and we're just doing so much more like, oh, we're rearranging the whole shop right now and there's 
there's so much to do and I feel like there's so little time and I'm trying to plan so many things. It's, if everything can go right, this is, this is gonna be a big year, guys. I, I keep saying that and I really do mean it. I, I got a bunch of good friends that are motivated as well to help me grow and to help build something that everyone can have a part of. So I'm really excited. I hope this shows and fuck this thing. Shaw, have fun with your beater. We ain't selling shit like that. Peace. Yo, listen, I know I'm terrible at beatboxing, but it is pretty funny. Okay, fuck you. Bye.